Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Gulfport, Florida. Gulfport is an old Florida town that was incorporated in 1912 and originally could only be reached by boat. Since that time, Gulfport has grown into an eclectic, soulful town that is somewhat of an arts and entertainment mecca. The Climber Park Sculpture Garden is a testament to the town's artistic vibe and walking along its winding path, you begin to feel the artistic energy that the town resonates with. Being the old Florida town that it is, even many of the houses and buildings reflect the artsy feel of its inhabitants. And even though Gulfport fits into an area less than three square miles, it is home to a myriad of shops, restaurants, and taverns, and history, which makes Gulfport a great date night destination or just an afternoon excursion with the family. Now, since Gulfport is in my home base area, I have visited several times and had the opportunity to experience the unique ambiance of the local shops and have eaten in several of the restaurants. And I can tell you that this is definitely a destination that you will not forget. Imagine being able to sit on the beach, take in a great meal, peruse local shops that sell everything from clothing and jewelry to crystals, decorative signs, and trinkets of all kinds and then finishing the day with a stroll down Williams Pier where you might just see some of the local manatees passing through. And if you happen to be traveling in a van, you'll find Gulfport to be an easy place to find a spot to park overnight, giving you the unique ability to wake up near the water, which is a magical experience in itself. Now I have to say that after spending a couple of nights in my van in Gulfport, I felt more connected to the area and gained a more complete overall feel for the beauty and peacefulness that it offers. There is so much life, culture, and spirituality here that I feel I will never tire of Gulfport's quirky but beautiful energy and character. On this particular visit to Gulfport, after a home-cooked meal in my van, I walk the storefront area, make a stop in the local ice cream shop, which is fantastic by the way, after which I listen to some awesome street music, and then head to a local music venue called the Blueberry Patch, where I end the evening gifted by the sights and sounds of this truly magical place. But I implore you, don't take my word for it. Come to Gulfport yourself so that you too can experience the magic and beauty of this old Florida waterfront town.
Blueberry Patch is an artist's retreat and music venue that has been in operation since the 70s. A man named Dallas started the patch, and now decades later the patch is still going strong. When you first walk into the Blueberry Patch, you are overwhelmed, almost like a kid in Christmas Village, by the art, ambiance, and oddities that surround you. A mere $5 donation allows you to experience the soulful vibe and beauty of the Blueberry Patch. You know, when I was in Colorado this summer, in some really beautiful but really remote places, I came to the conclusion that I do love and need to be sometimes lost in nature, wrapped in her gentle arms somewhere in the mountains among a million pines. But also, and equally as important, is community. By community, I mean my family, I mean a life partner, I mean friends, and even just places that are familiar and bring us happiness. There has to be balance. Now, I am still finding that balance for myself, but I am learning and growing all the time. There is nothing quite like waking up in a new and beautiful place. You know, as I've allowed my life to become less like a struggle and more like a symphony, the beauty of the music produced by that symphony becomes more and more clear and impactful to me. It doesn't mean that my life is without struggle. What it means is that I more clearly see that everything, including struggle, has purpose and value. So, how do we come to the point where our outer world and our interaction with those around us becomes more like music and less like noise? Well, there's a lot to unpack here, and in my future videos I hope to pass on to you the patterns of thinking and being that have brought me to my current outlook on life. But at the most basic level, I want to impress upon you that what we experience in our outer world is a reflection, just like a mirror, of what is going on inside of us. So as we open our hearts to change on the inside, what we experience in our reality begins to evolve and change. One of the changes that I have experienced is in my appreciation of the people that I interact with in my day-to-day -day life. This comes as a byproduct of finding more peace and beauty within myself. Because, as I said before, our outer world is a reflection of our inner world. And until we find the beauty in ourselves, we cannot fully see or appreciate the beauty in others. I was blessed on this morning to have coffee on the beach in Gulfport with a van life adventurer from Colorado named George. One thing to remember about even the most casual of interactions like this is that our time in this human experience is limited. Which reminds me to be thankful when someone shares with me their precious time. Whoa! Yeah, there she comes. Yeah. Good morning, Gulfport. Right. I'm, I'm going to tell you, after a few sales I've been on, I had my 
ass handed to me really well. I'm telling you. Yeah, I well, you're braver than me because I, I couldn't have done it at all. I, it's like kayaking. The first time you got sucked to the bottom of the river and had the living poo beat out of you, yeah, it's like when you got to the surface again, I think I'm going to quit kayaking. I mm -hmm. think I'm over this. I don't think I want to do this anymore. I had two or three of those moments, but I managed to kayak for almost 40 years until my final statement to me was I was in a liquid logic in the Gunny Gorge and I went over about a 10 foot drop and that little liquid logic went more back like that. I didn't get, I didn't get a, a straight drop. It, the nose went farther in, so it went back under. My paddle caught in the rocks and the boat got sucked off my butt and you never let go of your paddle so I was hanging on for, for dear life because that's my only transportation out is the paddle right so pretty soon uh, I'm you know I'm blowing bubbles and I'm getting flogged and I'm going this is not coming out this is not coming out and I let go and that's I was about 63 at that time and uh, I said okay you're not that good anymore <laughs> <laughs> I don't care to be down there with my paddle stuck in a rock. Oh, man. My favorite is uh, Coeur d'Alene. Um, but the Selway is between Montana and Idaho up there. And in order to run it, you have to run up uh, the, the uh, west side of uh, Montana. When you get up there into those woods, I'm, I'm telling you, this it just was the most... Pretty vicious whitewater, but just absolutely gorgeous countryside. Grass, a foot and a half thick everywhere, you know, and just waving in the breeze and all of the places. George and I had great conversations about van life and life experiences in general. He told me about how his love for sailing was dashed as two different hurricanes destroyed two of his sailboats, but to George, this just meant that it was time for a different adventure. It was such a great morning and it was so awesome to meet George and gain a new friend. We shared some commonalities and by the end of our visit, I came to like George quite a bit. Such an adventurous life he's had. And who knows, it's a small world. Our paths may cross again. When we had both had our share of coffee, the beach, and wild adventure stories, I said goodbye to my new friend George, left Gulfport, went for a beach run, and called it an adventure. And you know, looking back on my visit to Gulfport, I know that I was afforded a truly humbling experience that I won't soon forget. And remember, there is beauty all around us, but the most magnificent beauty that can be found is the beauty reflected from ourselves as we co-create this crazy, beautiful, and sometimes quirky reality. Until next time, peace. And I hope you find exactly the adventure you are looking for. Thank you. Thank you.